now sports english premier league arsenal <laughs> week in football where I'm going to be covering everything you may have missed out in the world of football throughout. First things first, we're heading over to Bottle Drops of the Week where Arsenal gave away a 2-1 lead against City in the last minute of the game with John Stone scoring the equaliser. We cannot, we cannot replace him. We cannot. John Stones, you know. Yeah, sorry Arsenal. You had your chance last year. Just give it up, lads. I've got nothing left. <laughs> with less than a week to go until the new FIFA is released, anticipation is high. You make me sick. Leave me alone. Please. Hiding in the shadows. Hiding from who you truly are. Oh. Over at the launch for FC25, Electronic Arts released the updates and new game modes we can expect to see. Hi, I'm Jack, your EA representative for FC25. For some reason, I'm American and I know nothing about soccer, but hey, who cares? I hate you and you hate us. This year, we haven't only removed the iconic FIFA name, we've also changed the number from 24 to 25. We're so excited to steal your money. Thanks, Chad. This year we're releasing a free silver players pack to every single one of you that signs their mortgage off with us and pays £699 on the first Access Ultimate Edition. We've also put even less focus onto pro clubs and career mode this year. And we've released a state-of-the-art game-ending mode. Jermaine, tell our fans about this new game mode. We're very excited to introduce to you Kickoff Kickout. Any mode that you go into that isn't Ultimate Team and therefore won't make us any money at all by buying FIFA points, we will automatically kick you out of the game. It's our way of saying fuck you to you. <coughs> right. Over in the Champions League, Harry Kane scored four goals against Dynamo Zagreb. When playing for any other team than England, this guy suddenly turns up. In an interview after the match against the Croatian side, Captain Kane had this to say. Harry? A comfortable 9-2 win against Zagreb today, and four goals for you personally. What do you make of that performance? Yeah, well, uh, you know, personally, uh, it's, it's a good performance. Uh, you know, sometimes it, it just happens like that. So, you, you know, you got to play, but uh, in some days, you know, it's about the rest of the players, you know, so that's what, uh, that's what uh, really matters at the end of the day. It's that time of the video where we take a look at this year's Premier League winner. Here's why Manchester United will win the Premier League this year. Legendary players. Manchester United have arguably got the best player in the world right now. That's right. I'm talking about Anthony. His skill moves are so intense that even we don't know what he's trying to do, let alone his opposition. Analyse this little time. Wow, what a pirouette. Amazing stuff. But even the pass is sublime. Fantastic. Another obvious reason why they'll win the Premier League this year is the Glazers. With the full confidence and support of their universally beloved owners, Manchester United are set for success. Oh, it's mainly success in stock market dividends, but who says those can't buy you goals? Also, a potential transfer every summer really keeps their fan base motivated and optimistic for the season ahead. Manager recruitment. As Manchester United are the most well-known football club in the world, managers are lining up wanting to manage them. And according to sources, legendary Manchester United star man Gary Neville is set to take charge. This was the banker. This was the one that couldn't fail. This was the one that's never failed. Incredible stuff. His outstanding stint as manager of Villarreal in the Spanish League might mean that he's over-qualified for this job. What do you guys think? Will this be Manchester United's year? Let me know in the comments below. Still on the topic of Manchester United, they recently came up against League One side Barrow, spreading their legs wide open in the 7 0 win. It's a bit of a weird analogy. Marcus Rashford scored two goals, with pundits thinking this could be the start of his comeback and his redemption story. And to be honest, with the level of football they played at, look, I, look, I know it's still a League One side, okay? It was still silky football and they could be coming back up. And maybe them winning the title this year isn't actually too far off. Yeah. Forget I said that. Over to TikTok now and Mbappe's wage has been released. This guy makes a hundred pounds in 30 seconds. I've had this channel for nearly 10 years, brother, and I'm still waiting on a payslip. In some concerning news now, Man City star Rodri has announced that he intends to go on strike due to the increase in fixtures. Says the amount of games put on the players is too demanding and they have no time for their personal lives. Pep Guardiola has backed the strike and other managers, including Enzo Morasca of Chelsea, have followed suit. Yeah, of course, Chelsea's manager wants less game time. I know he's stressing what position to play his 20th news 
signing of the weekend. So what are you, defence, attack, goalie? Bit of this, bit, bit of that. Chelsea did actually win against West Ham in a convincing 3-0 display over at the London Stadium this weekend with Nicholas Jackson, Jackson scoring a brace. Cole Palmer then finished it off with a cool finish. Hopefully this means the Blues will be ready to play in the St. Johnston's Paint European Trophy. What? as they might be facing the mighty Borat FC. Great success. Keeping up with Borat, it's time for Borat's match of the day commentary where he'll be covering Newcastle against Fulham. Why he not give goals? Here comes the Fulham's, wow, nice. He take on his chest and he put the right square goal, says the keeper, you'll never get this <laughs> One nil to the Fulham's. This keeper is very retard, he puts hand on ball but then lets ball go and says no, I'd not do my job today, you can have this one Fulhams. My, uh, my great grandfather would say this, and here's a horse. <laughs> Javi Barney with a goal back for King of the Castle. What a game of football. King of Castle give ball to White Strike team and his easy goal. Full time King of Castle 1, Fulham's 3. Right, cheers for that, Bora. I'm not sure I'll be uh, keeping that in for next week. In other Premier League news, I was unfortunate enough to go down to the King Power Stadium and see Leicester absolutely stinking up the place with a mediocre 1 1 draw against Everton. Listen, I'm a big Leicester fan, but drawing against Everton, they've still got Ashley Young as their left back, for fuck's sake. Hello, Ian. Long time no see. Mr. Pickham, you're alive. I'm alive, he says. I think we can all agree that the best thing for Everton as a club is for them to go down, realistically. Fans are losing it with the players. <laughs> John Mope is happy to have dodged the bullet by leaving the Toffees, and now is that better club, Marseille. And I'm sure he's in good company. <clears throat> On that note, I'm going to end the video. Thank you boys for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Also, follow me on Insta at TFJTFC and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a great rest of your week, lads, and I'll see you again on Sunday. Uh, and I've been jamming like this since 06 with kicks that barely lasted a day. And I felt the rhythm I made my decision a question. Is my fate And I've been rocking big jeans and big dreams and creams that keep that's my fate